Okay, so yeah. Um, so today's class, uh, we'll we'll quickly review what we uh, looked at last uh, session, and then we will uh, go further. So if you have your notes, uh, you could follow in the notes as well. Uh, but really, we are looking at some practical things here. Um, so it's good to try out what we are. Uh, discussing also okay so we looked at uh, you know this whole thing of life skills what is uh, a life skill right and then uh, so these are skills that one needs uh, practically in life to make the most out of life okay so uh, in life we have challenges we have difficulties um, and we have uh, certain uh, certain things that we need to, in order to make our life efficient or effective it could be professionally you know you could be working in some organization you could be running your own business uh, or you could be in ministry church uh, maybe a you know uh, an organization uh, um, which is connected to ministry serving um, so it's good to have these skills which make our life efficient which make our tasks efficient and our uh, you know our productivity uh, you know, increases, right? So, so these are skills, and uh, these are basic things. Some of these things come to us naturally, um, but we will be looking at some of these things, like um, you know, personal development. We looked at communication, time management, money management, and we listed. You know, we looked at all this, uh, how to set, uh, you know, how to plan, how to set goals, and all these things. So we see that, um, you know, these are things that really help us. So it's good to um, kind of um, you know, uh, know these things, uh, at least be aware of it and see where our needs are and actually do it. Okay. So, so we looked at this whole aspect of personal development, development of our self. Okay. And uh, we all also looked at um, this theory by uh, Abraham Maslow. When uh, so he's a uh, psychologist, he, he was a psychologist and, uh, and how a humanistic psychologist and the theory that he proposed about the, the hierarchy of needs. And we looked at those several, the pyramid and several needs that people have. And it's in a way, it's good to understand that because uh, at each level, our uh, need for skill or ability changes, right? Uh, when we are at self-actualization, the skill level and uh, what one needs um, to handle certain tasks, it's it's different so it's good to be aware of this um of of this theory as well right uh, talking about physiological needs safety needs and love and belongingness and so on so uh, to to know that these are you know well, well these are needs uh, that are there in a human being you know whether it's a believer or not a believer these are needs basic needs which are there and uh, when these needs needs are met to meet these needs also you know there are certain skills that are required okay so we we looked at that um and uh, we looked at uh, three things like some of the basic things like uh, organizing our time and also you know making our putting together our resume or curriculum uh, vita uh, or you know i always used to call it vitae apparently the correct pronunciation is vita and uh, our resume and also uh, some of the barriers to learning a new skill you know it could be that uh, maybe we have um, we think that we we are, we are unable to do you know we are unable to learn maybe you know you, your schooling years are over your college years are over maybe you feel that i'm unable to learn a new skill um, so it's more of a mental uh, emotional thing that you're unable to on also maybe something to do with the self esteem so we looked at that it could be lack of confidence uh, and also uh, financial situation, right? It could be because of lack of finances uh, that we are saying, okay, I'm, I cannot, I cannot upskill, I cannot upgrade my skill, right? And uh, there are certain solutions for that. And uh, you know, I shared those websites, Coursera, edX, which have those uh, courses that you can do, free courses um, that you can do uh, to get some some kind of uh, you know upgradation of skill. Uh, you know, it's it's interesting 
we have so many resources. It's just that we need to manage our time and schedule ourselves so that we can upgrade. Even on YouTube, you know, not just uh, Coursera, uh, edX, uh, that would be a little more systematic and, um, you know, uh, and there could be certification at the end of it, which will be useful. Um, but if not, you know, there are videos on YouTube also where we can upgrade our skills, right? We can go through that and put it in practice. And then we looked at um, another barrier to uh, upgrading our skills could be family commitments. Okay, we say, okay, we are in a phase of life where there are too many commitments. You know, there are children to look after, maybe, you know, maybe, uh, you know, maybe elderly parents um, uh, who need to be looked. So there's you know, really lack of time, lack of uh, resources. And that's fine, you know, uh, maybe, you can take a small step, you know, in, in such cases, he said, we can take a small step. It doesn't have to be a very big step. Take a small step, something that is manageable, something that we can do, and uh, it will come in handy as well. Okay, so today's class, we look at uh, this whole thing of personal planning. Okay, and uh, why should we plan for uh, development of ourselves? Okay, so it's, it's a kind of a general thing, but, uh, you know, it, I, I think it will be uh, helpful for those of us who have never thought of, you know, on those lines. Okay. Um, so, yeah, let's pray and we'll get started. Uh, Father, we thank you for this uh, time. We thank you, Lord, that uh, that we get an opportunity to, to look into some of these, um, Lord, uh, central things, Lord. And, uh, and Father God, we, we thank you that we, uh, we, you give us these opportunities to Lord, upgrade our skills, upgrade abilities. And Holy Spirit, we thank you that you're the one who anoints us. You're the one who, Lord, gives us special abilities like you did with Bezalel, like you did, God, with uh, uh, with Joseph and Daniel, Lord, and uh, abilities, Lord, special abilities, Lord. And I just pray that you would empower us, that you would lead us and give us the uh, endurance and the strength, Lord, to follow through and uh, and uh, and and put to practice what we are learning, Lord, we thank you. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, so we're in the third chapter, uh, which is personal planning, and the whole question of uh, you know why should we plan, right? And what are we planning for for personal development to upgrade our skills, to learn new skills. Okay, so why should we really uh, have a plan in place? Okay, is, is there something, or can we just can't we just just learn as we go along? Okay, uh, if it happens, it happens, kind of thing. You know, sometimes what happens is that organizations actually, you know, plan it for us. Or uh, so there are certain, you know, if you're working in a company or if you're working in a ministry, uh, maybe uh, there are you know, opportunities given by the company or the organization and they say, okay, this time to this time on this day, here is this training and you attend it. And these are opportunities, right? But if not, uh, it's good for us to plan um, because then we will be able to work towards it. Okay, so plan, what is a, you know, basic thing about a plan? It's a, it's a, just a detailed set of steps okay, for doing something, for achieving something. Okay, so if there is time involved in it, uh, there are some goals involved in it, and uh, there are some steps that we take in order to achieve something. So these are detailed steps that we need to take. So simple uh, uh, thing, a plan is uh, involves all this or has all these elements. Okay, because uh, if we know what we need to improve in our lives, okay, or achieve something, if we know it, if we are aware of it. Uh, aware of such a need, then we would actually put our energy behind it, okay, or even begin to plan. Right? But if we are unaware, then it's highly unlikely that that we we will actually plan anything or put any efforts, okay. So that's the first thing, you know, to be aware of what skills to learn. Or what are things that I need to improve in life? And that would mean that we look at what are we currently doing? Okay. What are we currently, the tasks that we are involved in? And, and to see, okay, this, this is something that I'm not good at. So therefore I need to improve. Or 
it could even mean that you're looking at something you know in future i in, in the future i want to get here and therefore i need to learn these things in order to be able to go there because it will not happen automatically right we all know that you know if we continue to do what we're doing we will continue to do what we're doing right and it will take us to uh, 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 destination a maybe but if we have a plan and we know that okay uh, i need to learn a set of skills okay i need to learn or uh, a particular thing uh, a technique or a, you know learn how to do it then um, it will take me there okay so it could be simple things like okay um, maybe i need to learn to use the computer okay and i know all all of us are using some form of technology to be in part of, to be in class and maybe you're using your phone uh, maybe you're uh, you know using your your laptop or your you know computer or something um, so you're using some technology to be part of it okay so um maybe you need to one you know you need to learn let's say you want to work in a particular place you want to work in an office and that requires certain skill you know these are just examples that i'm throwing here like it could be you know typing skills or it could be language skills right uh, i need to know the language uh, maybe i need to learn hindi right to be able to work in a certain in a particular location i need to learn to uh, speak hindi i need to learn to write hindi maybe uh, and that work requires that or the ministry requires that right maybe god has been putting in your heart okay i want you to go there i want you to be there and i want you to do this and that requires communicating in the language of the people now now that's a skill right that's a skill that i need to learn okay maybe it is uh, you know it's 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 knowing hindi so so what do i do right so that's the plan so now first of all i need to be aware that this is the skill that i need for the task okay this is where i am lacking and uh, to be aware of that okay so so uh, i would just encourage us to look at our own uh, tasks you know the other day i was just looking at it uh, looking at what i was doing and i was um, i was thinking hey i need to learn powerpoint right microsoft powerpoint i know some basic things uh but i really need to learn how to do stuff you know put videos put pictures uh i need to learn some of those things make sure that everything is uh, aligned well and do some i do some basic uh, powerpoint but i really need to uh, learn that right so i was looking at some online things and there was some resources basics of powerpoint and you know so uh, i just kind of uh, saved that i need to you know do that so so things like that okay so it could be uh, maybe you're in uh, ministry and you're saying oh, i need to reach out to this place and god is calling me to this place um it would help if you knew the language right uh, basic things maybe uh, yeah you can manage with an interpreter someone who can translate that language interpret the language if you speak into the language of the people but it will be great if you know the language so that you can interact directly with them okay same like computer skills maybe uh, you want to work in a you know that particular organization you're looking to work in an organization but that maybe as a front office person or an admin person now that would require some skills and if you see that those skills are not there in your resume right in your cv that you put together um and the job requires that skill now is a good time to start planning towards it okay so first thing is to be aware so uh, maybe you can list down what what are some skills that i need to develop what are some areas that seem to be lacking okay so we are not looking at it in a negative way we are looking at it as a very positive thing right so that's the thing you know it's not like saying oh i don't have this my world is coming to an end it's not like that saying okay this, this is it i see that i don't have it for whatever reason okay um, the reasons could be many fine forget it but this is something that i don't have this is where i'm lacking and now i've become aware of it right i know this so now i can plan towards it okay so let's look at um, uh you know something uh 
we let's look at one term that we need to you know uh, understand okay uh, as uh, with the plan we also need to understand this term, term which is a goal okay the goal is um, i think the first thing that comes to your mind is you know maybe football or the goal post or the, you know to goal it's it's what you go for and make sure the ball reaches that you know, that's the goal and you score a goal okay but but simply put in in you normal you know simple language a goal is an aim or a desired result or you know that's a, a, or the destination of a journey that's the goal okay this is where we want to reach so so when we are aware of uh, okay this skill or this uh, this knowledge or this ability that i want to know so what is the goal okay so goal is to to reach that okay to goal is to learn the language learn to maybe write that language learn to maybe speak the language learn uh, to maybe um, you uh, maybe you know uh, you know i'm just giving various scenarios learn document you know how to use um, uh, ms word how to use that uh, you know maybe learn how to uh, use instagram or you know all those things right so these could be uh, things you're you're aware and that could be a goal okay uh, so aim or result now the plan would be those detailed steps that will take us to the goal okay now these are general things that we looked at but i just you know repeating it uh, maybe in in you know second year we looked at it third year also um, yeah, second year we looked at it right okay so while we are developing a plan it will involve certain goals now uh, first thing is to have a very clear and the word i think again and again we go to it clear vision vision just means the ability to see okay the ability to see um the ability to um uh, in in natural terms it just means okay i if i have vision that means that i can see it's visible i can see um the ability to see but it also you know when it's the ability to think about or plan about the future okay with imagination with wisdom and as people of god you know with the leading of the holy spirit right to have that vision or god given vision the big picture okay what is it that i'm called to do what is it that i need to do so um, you know is it part of that vision this plan is it part of that big picture and uh, that plan can have several goals that i need to meet uh, you know when it comes to uh, maybe doing a course uh, then i need to plan i need to you know the, the goal would be to finish the course right finish the course well learn the language so so that would be the goal and the the, the plan would be to 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 be uh, to be proficient in that language so so the plan would break things up okay now which course do i need to do okay we need to research and find out which course do i need to uh, enroll in i need to find out and i need to do that so enrolling in that course would be a would be a specific goal okay it would be a short term goal the long term goal or the the bigger goal is that i become i learn that language but the short term goal is first step is i enroll in it okay um so without doing that the short steps i don't achieve that bigger thing i don't achieve that vision so um so the think of it okay a clear vision okay what do i need to do um you know when we are even thinking of ministry when we're thinking about you know like thomas leading the church and so on and you know they working for the ministry and, and several of you doing several things now you know think of it in terms of time frame right five years maybe one year maybe six months uh, maybe you know break it down to monthly weekly daily right so these are time frames what do i need to do okay now this is the big picture now what do i need to do in terms of time 
uh, in five years, where do I need to reach? What do I need to do uh, in order to reach there? Right? In in a year's time, uh, maybe what do I need to do? Maybe we can break it down to months. Maybe we can break, break it down to weeks and, and daily things also. Right? So it helps. So it, the vision is very clear. Okay? And uh, of course, with that vision of personal development, now what are the skills that are needed now, that is what we talked about right what skills do i need um, and uh, why are these skills important for the bigger vision that's another thing you know otherwise it can be a hobby okay i i learn a particular thing it can be a hobby it gives me a lot of you know a lot of pleasure i enjoy it um, maybe it's you know i'm going for music classes and you know uh, it need not always help with the bigger vision. Okay? It's just something that I learn. It just helps me. And maybe in future, it will help me also. But it gives me a lot of enjoyment. And, and you know, I enjoy this, uh, learning this and singing and so on. So you you do go ahead and do it. Right. Um, and uh, tied with that is also the degree to which I need or uh, the skill level I need for that particular um, particular thing that I'm learning. Okay, now with, with regard to when we said language. Okay, if it's language, Hindi language, is it just learning to write or learning to speak? Okay, is it just spoken Hindi that I need to be, uh, you know, be competent in, or do I need to write Hindi, or do I need to write, uh, you know, poems in Hindi? Okay, it's not simple. Hello, hi, hello, how are you? But you know, it's like. Uh, it's it's poems, right? poetry. What is the skill level, right? That that also, if we determine, that will be very useful, okay? Because there's no end to that particular field of learning, right? So if you're saying that, okay, I just need, I just need this basic, that is enough for me to, because the other things I can give it to the experts. Okay, you're saying, okay, I just need to know the basics of accounting. I just want to know the basics of maybe typing. Uh, I want to know the basics of, you know, how to get, uh, you know, write emails. I don't want to get into the, the programming part, right? Basic, the fundamentals. Or you're saying, you know, this requires, you know, I want to get into software, uh, eventually software programming, and I want to learn about coding. So which means that I need to enroll in a serious course which talks about that. So because that is the level, uh, that is the standard that is required. Okay. So it, it helps, right? Uh, what is the standard uh, for me to understand that, uh, for me to decide that? Okay, so that then I can just go after that. Okay, but if I have not decided and if I have not set the standard or the skill level, then uh, then I realize that hey, I've reached somewhere, but it's still not required for me to you know for me to uh, for me to get that job, for me to finish that task well. I I still find myself lacking. Okay, so to what degree or, or to what skill level stand need okay um then um then the thing is when we decide okay this is the level or the standard level skill level that i that i need then i can assign priority you know how important is it do i need to learn this every day do i need to allocate time like five hours every day can I just do five hours a week, right? Or can I just do it once a month, right? So I can actually allocate a resource, which is time. I can say, okay, I this we can actually do maybe once a year, or that's fine. It's just a refresher course, or it's just a, you know, this skill, I can actually pick it up. Or you're saying, you know, I need to do this every day. I need to learn this every day, or I need to commit myself to this every day. Only then will I be able to develop this area. Okay, it could be it could be anything that we saw. You know, it could be about finances. It could be about time. It could be about certain special abilities and skills. Um, so, I need to be able to do that. Right, be able to decide that. You know, how essential is it 
to develop it now should i do it now should i do it later at a later stage you know i've i've kind of identify it but should i do it right away because there's only 24 hours in a day so should i invest my time in it invest my effort in it right now or can i do it later okay so so i was just thinking about certain things you know um that i was thinking that i i need to uh, one was this powerpoint thing powerpoint is now right now i need to learn i need to you know learn some of the things that i need to do uh, but there are other things that i was thinking of and i was uh, saying okay these are skills you know uh, i just want to know about this mutual funds and uh, you know uh, like how does it work right and uh, you know what can we do uh, i was thinking about it right uh, how does how do these things work and uh, but the thing is it's it's not right now because right now this gathering information but uh, but maybe a few years from now i just like to be serious about okay how to actually you know uh, do that okay get into it or or you know how do we um, use it for the purposes of the kingdom you know many things right um so things like that anyway uh, so so you could also have certain things you know uh, how can i what are the things that i need to do now upgrade my skills now what are the things that i need to do later at a later time so you know whenever we think about this right what comes to our mind is uh, one thing is okay is it necessary you know i can't do it um uh, it seems to be a waste of time right uh, well think about it I don't write it off immediately. Think about it uh, and see, you know, in the bigger plan, in the bigger vision, uh, does it help serve the vision? Okay. Uh, does it help serve the vision? Why are you, you know, even interested in it in the first place? Does it serve the big picture? And if it does, it's worth investing time. It's worth, you know, and if you feel that there is a gap uh, between what I know now and what I should know, there is a learning gap. It's worth investing. It was investing time. It was in, it's worth investing, you know, resources to learn. Okay. So, um, um, and uh, you know, uh, a detailed plan, of course, of how to get to that place. That's what one. So start one step at a time. Um, you know, uh, which is very very important because when we take a big step. And then we realize that, okay, uh, it's too overwhelming and uh, I, I'm unable to, I, I get very discouraged immediately. I get very discouraged and say, okay, this is not for me and we give it up. But maybe we need to build strength. Okay, it's like uh, maybe you go to work out in a gym and then uh, you, know, you immediately take some 20 kgs and you know you just want to lift it and then and you see that your muscle actually does not have the ability does not have the strength okay it's it's been it's not been used all these years of lockdown you know all these months of lockdown sorry and uh, and you're saying oh I want to get fit and I'm doing it and I, just straight away you you know get into it and you feel that oh I, I'm not able to lift and then you you come back home and you're so tired and then you say okay i give up but rather than that it's to build strength gradually right it's to build strength step by step take those small steps and you know start with the lesser weights start with something that 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 you know you need to reach for but at the same time that it it seems to be achievable right so uh, do those things initially and then build strength so taking small steps is very very important okay so we come to the uh, come to the issue of uh, goals uh, but before that just want to talk about focus you know when we look at vision when we have big picture when we have these plans uh, one thing that is required of us is um, this thing called focus okay so what does that mean focus anyone we say focus focus What does that mean? In any any words to describe focus? Anything that comes to your mind when you talk about focus? Concentrate, okay. That's good. Concentrate. Um, 
clarity. Okay. Um, what else? Heed, huh? listen. Okay. Focus and heed. Yeah, okay. One thing, right? Uh, attention. Yeah, look at the things, correct? Focus on this. And you say, okay, focus on this. You say, look at this. Um, that's a nice, uh, you know, description. Focus to look, okay? But also it means that, you know, based on, you know, all that, whatever response you've given, everything is correct, right? attention and everything. To focus to the exclusion of everything else, in the sense you look at one thing and you're, you're excluding the other things. Now that's focus, right? You know, you look at my back. Uh, yeah, things can be seen clearly. When you look at my background; it's it's blurred, right? It's uh, it's it's blurred right now, and uh, so now I bring it to focus, right? Oh, there's a lot of stuff there. <laughs> <laughs> which is why it was blurred in the first place. Okay, so, you know, now it's clear, it's sharp, because you're focusing, you're looking at it, right? And, uh, yeah, now it's back to how it was. So, um, focus is to look at something so that brings, um, uh, that's bring, uh, that makes things clearer, it's sharper, and uh, we are looking at it with the exclusion of other things, right? We are excluding other things. So focus is very important when we uh, carry out certain, uh, when we carry out our, uh, or when we reach for the goals, right? Because there could be other things which could um, distract, okay? which demand our time, which demand our effort. Okay, and that's why we looked at that word priority, right? Very important, P-R-I-O, priority, right? So we need to prioritize and say, okay, this is important for me right now. This is not important for me right now. Okay, uh, this I will do only later. So when we prioritize, then I know that, okay, this is something that I need to go after. This is something that I'm going to learn. Therefore, I need to, focus, give priority, give weightage. And it's something that I'm going to do every day. It's something that I'm going to do weekly, monthly, and so on. Okay. Right. So that's, uh, uh, that's about focus, right? Uh, okay. Let's uh, maybe, maybe this description would help us uh, uh, look at it clearer. Um, it give a better understanding. So it says, uh, it's an act of concentrating interest or activity on something concentrating uh, on something, activity, interest, um, concentrating interest or activity on something, or the quality of having or producing clear visual definition. Okay. So um, that's focus, right? Okay, so let's uh, let's look at uh, what we need to focus on. We are focusing on the goals. Are, there could be you know, different goals uh, that could, we could be looking at. Um, so we need to focus, we need to plan, uh, but we need to really define those goals. Okay, now I know that these are, you know, some simple things, but uh, but really, if we don't define you know, in ministry, uh, in, uh, you know, whatever profession that we are in, if we don't really define these goals, and if we are not aware of these goals, um, and if we don't reach for this, uh, we will never, we will never reach it. We will never accomplish it. You know, it may happen, it may not happen. So that's, you know, uh, as we are going, okay, maybe it's just, it's just some things happen, but most things won't, right? And it's, it'll be tragic if we, if time goes by, let's say five years, 10 years, and we reach the end of that time period, and we look back and say, hey, I should have, right? It's, uh, and we look back with the regret, right? And it's it's not nice, right? Uh, yes, you know, maybe even today we are, you know, maybe you're looking back and saying, yeah, I should have done that. 
you know, I, I should have put in more effort. I should have done this. Okay, no problem. We've got today. Now we've, we can, with God's help, you know, look at tomorrow's and the months and the years ahead and say, God, you know, I, I'll, let me start now. Right? So forget about what has happened. Forget about all those months and years that have gone by. Now look at today afresh. Look at your own, you know, those needs and what we need to do afresh and say, okay, now let me start today. Okay, maybe you started something, you know, a few months back and maybe it's, it's just left, right? You're not, uh, you need to pick up. Right? You need to pick that up and say, okay, I want to renew that, renew that commitment, renew that, uh, or, you know, re, uh, uh, restart, really, without, you know, with that function, with that task. Yeah, let's do that. Right? So, so what are those goals? Right? It could be in the academic area. It could be in the career. It could be, uh, it could be with regard to money. Right? And sometimes we, as believers, we we shy. You know, we we look. We see. We all know that we need money, and that we should be the master of money. Right? And money cannot be his master. And God is our provider. Um, but the fact is, we shy away from, uh, you know, from really dealing with it. Right? We might have a, a you know a, a completely a picture of where you know we're saying that I'm I'm not going to work towards that or I'm not going to plan that okay or or saying that um, I'm not even going to talk about it you know maybe some households can be like that maybe you know you came up from that background and saying okay we will not talk about money right um, I, you know money is uh, you know there is a need but we're not going to talk about okay what to do with it or how to plan it uh, all those things okay if it happens it happens right sometimes uh, you know it could be about money so financial goals okay what can i do okay uh, can i save you know 10 rupees 20 rupees 100 rupees a month can i put away what are the things that i can do with what i've saved you know things like that right so financial goals uh, what do i want to reach uh, or it could be uh, domestic goals uh, something to do with family something to do with your own lives okay uh, saying okay I want to be here in this time. So it's, see, all these things, we're not saying that it's a selfish ambition, right? Selfish ambition is wrong, right? So we are doing it with God, walking with God and involving God in the setting of goals. So that's the difference, right? We are involving God in the setting of goals, uh, involving the Lord, inviting the Holy Spirit and say, Lord, you put in my heart, you know, what should I go for? Should I go for this? Should I not go for this? We so we have an added edge, right? Uh, to to do and to get into all this. Okay, so um, so let's look at uh, some of the. You know, this is something that you would have learned. You know, any basic management class or leadership class, uh, how goals can be S M A R T. Okay, smart goals. And each of these uh, letters, we know uh, uh, it's an acronym for um, specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time-bound. Right? So, so when we when we prepare those, when we when we decide on these goals, you know, of course, prayerfully, um, you know, we, we we can actually, you know. You don't have to restrain yourself. You, know, you can dream big with God. Dream big with God. Right? Uh, always understand that, um, well, God has our best interest in mind. Uh, he is a good shepherd, John 10 and verse 10. He has come to give us life and life in its fullness. But the enemy comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy uh, Jeremiah 29 verse 11 I know the thoughts I have for you I know the plans I have for you right, to give you hope in the future so this is what he has for us and and this God our Heavenly Father is who we are we are involving okay in intentionally we're saying Lord you help me Lord you know, I am a finite person uh, you are infinite 
right? I have limited knowledge. You have, you're omniscient. Uh, your knowledge is understanding is, uh, is without limit, infinite. So God, you help me. I'm putting together certain things. Uh, I uh, uh, and if there's something that you know uh, you don't want me to, you just let me know. Right? God speaks. The Holy Spirit speaks, um, and He will let you know in your heart. Right? So involve God and say, okay, how can I make this goal specific? Okay, how can I make this task or this thing that I'm uh, going for? You know. Is it specific? I'm saying, okay, I want to. Um, okay, let's let's pick an example. Okay, what is it that you want to do? Okay, what what skill that you want to learn? Okay, anyone? Uh, we're going to make that goal specific. Okay, so just give me an example. Okay, what is it that you would, uh, you know, as a goal? You, what is it that you want to set as a goal? An example, quick, quick example. You can just probably put it in the chat. Mm. Anyone? Any any goal? It can be a short term goal. It can be a long term goal. Something. Kanan, Soluba. What um, what goal do you have in mind? Keyboard or play a prince. Prince wants to learn keyboards. Okay. Kanan, what do you want to learn? Uh, mine is to be become a pastor. Yeah, that's my goal. That's a, that's a goal. Okay. That's a long term goal. Okay. One, uh, okay. Play guitar instrument. Okay. Music instrument. Okay. So let's just say, um, okay, we have one long term. Okay. And then we have a short term, right? One long term would be okay, uh, becoming a pastor, and uh, you know that's your life calling. And then we have okay, like you want to pick, okay, share the gospel to the entire world, okay. Uh, and then we have this, okay. So now uh, let's say let's pick the uh, long term one, okay. And uh, so let's talk about some specifics here, okay. Now um, let's let's look at those things, you know. Let's make the goal specific. Let's make it measurable. Let's make it attainable, relevant, and, and set a time to it. So um, if it is to be a pastor, and that's a very, very specific thing. If we want to serve as a pastor. Some things that we can um, you know, go into is and ask the Lord, okay, where, when, right? And who, to whom? Okay, those are things that you can ask God and what God has already, maybe he's already put in your heart. Maybe he's already leading you to do it. Okay, so um, who, Lord? Okay, whom do you want me to pastor? Because it involves people. So whom do you want me to pastor? Where do you want me to do this? And, um, you know, and, and other questions to make it even more specific. Right, um, so it's a specific pastoral calling, and and obviously you know you've uh, spent time here, and you are, you know, you are spending time uh, uh, equipping yourself, training yourself spiritually, and otherwise, right, uh, and learning or getting all this wisdom and experience and all that. So, yes, so uh, you put that okay. Something that is measurable in the sense, okay, how can I measure this, right? In the sense, am I moving towards it or am I moving away from it? Right. So whatever I'm doing, whatever I'm learning, you know, am I uh, moving towards the goal or am I moving away from the goal? So that's that's how you know we we measure. Right? Um, same thing with the short term goal, which is okay. I, I want to learn a music instrument. I want to you know a keyboard. I want to learn keyboard. I want to play guitar, and um, well, this, actually, you know, I said short term, but this can be even be a long term thing, right? I want to be a proficient, um, uh, you know, I want to be a concert pianist, or I want to be a musician. I don't know if you know if that is the goal, right? It can be a very, it can be a long term thing. So you're saying, okay, um, I'm going to uh, sign up for classes. 
I, so that's the thing, you know. Uh, so if it's if it's uh, maybe you 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 might even change halfway, you know. Once you start learning, once you start, uh, you know, this uh, I'm talking about specific management. You might change. You might say, okay, uh, this is the skill level that I want, or you know, that's the skill level I want to really uh, go in for. You know, I want to write those exams. I want to be- become a ninth grade pianist or you know a, a musician of that caliber right so uh, i want to ministry the apc okay that depends on opening that depends on a whole lot of other things right okay so um so the thing is okay uh, so you make it um, specific you make it uh, is it measurable and the thing is okay manu you know is that what god really wants you know that's also thing you know uh, what does god really asking you what is good. so those those are things right yeah then um then the other thing is is it attainable you know uh, see the thing is if i have a goal like i'm saying okay you know, it's good to dream it's good to dream big but if i'm having a goal like okay i want to be the next um you know uh, i want to be in formula 1 racing race car and i want to drive a ferrari and i want to get into formula formula 1 racing and i want to be the next winner um from well it's, it seems like a great you know it's like it's like wow very adventurous very uh, uh, uh very nice uh, wow everybody will say wow but is that something you know you look at yourself and say okay in that season of life the way god has been leading is that something god would want Okay, so that's the added other thing, right? There are a lot of people who do. Okay, I want to do this. I want to do that, and they achieve that. And after achieving that, it's like, what now? You know, what is the next thing? So, uh, so the thing is to really uh, ask. Okay, is it in line with God? How God is leading me? So, okay, to be a you know car ra- racing car, and uh, when to be a car racer and to win. Uh, to be the best or the fastest in the world is great uh, but how is that going with how god is leading me as a pastor as a worship pastor as a, so you know, i know that that is a call but is that in line with it right so so you think about that as well you know how attainable is that goal and uh, do i really need to put in effort okay and the other thing is just because it is difficult um i don't need to give it up okay let's say now god is saying okay it, it's in line with what god is calling it's in you know it, it's this is how he's been leading and uh, right from an you know for example i know a person who was uh, okay we'll just finish in a couple of minutes now, i know i know uh, right from the young age he was always uh, i remember he was always invested interested in planes okay always interested in planes like we will all be playing you know football and cricket and all that but he he used to collect you know plane models he was interested in and right from young age he used to take it apart put it together in interesting place in his room always he said i always want to be a pilot i always want to be a pilot and and um, and it seemed impossible at that time because of the money involved because of the you know the whole process but he took it one step at a time okay he did his basic education he did his thing and then uh, waited for opportunities uh, tried for you know training and tried to uh, get the license and uh, and and of course money was uh, was another issue but he he tried that okay he tried whatever means was there uh, a lot of sacrifices but eventually he he became a commercial pilot became a commercial pilot and right now he is a pilot and he sends some amazing videos uh you know from the cockpit of landing and and you know, a take off and and some of those you know beautiful sunsets and sunrises that he sees and uh he's doing that okay now how did he do that he broke it down to smaller pieces you know it's a great dream great goal um it seems it seemed impossible but he was really passionate and he felt that he was called for that he was that was his thing right uh his profession uh so he was really passionate about that and he's doing it so you either you know is it attainable you know some of the things you 
you check your season check how god is leading and uh, if it's overwhelming you know can we break it down uh, then the thing is uh, to make it relevant right relevant to our life that's i'm sorry i think i just shared that to make it relevant to our life goals uh, is it in in line with the big picture that god is calling us for and it's good to set uh, and it's imperative important to set timelines right um for each of these goals and from time to time to you know review them as well timeline you know how long you know how long uh, is it going to, uh, am i going to uh, take in order to achieve this it's very very important because it cannot be that i'm doing this course and i'm going to take 20 years to do this course right uh, the course itself has a certain thing so if it's learning a skill if it's doing something put a timeline to it okay so we looked at five things right so to be to be smart let be measurable so that i can measure the progress of it uh smart meaning specific sorry uh, s meaning specific uh then measurable then if it's is it attainable then is it relevant and uh, and the last one is it uh, you give it a time bound or, or a time stamp saying by what time will i do it okay okay so uh we'll stop here for this class and um I hope that was helpful so uh, I would just encourage us to you know to think about it to reflect about upon what we heard and also uh, do it for our you know in our own lives maybe we, you know some of us you must be doing it already right and uh, but some of us maybe we have not and uh, it's not an unspiritual thing to plan okay some of us don't do it because it seems like I want to be led by the spirit but god is a god of plan god is a god of order and uh, and you know i mean we i'm sure we've looked at scriptures where you know, if a man wants to build a tower you know won't he sit down and consider the cost and then build it right so it's not a, a unspiritual thing to plan it is a spiritual thing to plan to consider to involve god in the whole process and do this right okay so we'll stop here and uh, we'll meet again next class okay god bless see you guys bye bye